Good morning. You can see my breath. Welcome to my first YouTube video. With YouTube, I kind of want to provide an extension of my reels. So reels are just these short bursts of little information and I really want to delve into passing on information that I have learned, stuff I do in my studio, um, maybe business stuff, how I make things. Uh, so today I have my planner, let me grab it. This is what I use to uh, plan my week. I've only done Monday so far. But today I have already loaded um, a bisque kiln, unloaded a bisque kiln, unloaded a glaze kiln. Just done a little bit of a sweep round, tidy up, move pieces over for drying, take these pieces off bats, um, and I'm gonna jump on the wheel. But yeah, I tend to do a few days a week, like solidly on the wheel, and then other days are jumping between rolls. Um, Mondays I'm here by myself. Well, of course, boot as well. Um, but the rest of the week I have people working for me that are in, so I'm kind of like jumping between what they're doing, maybe teaching them something new. Um, yeah, so let's get going. I just thought I'd jump back and just show you what I was doing before I videoed that first section. So first I clear off everything that's drying on top of the kiln and I'm unloading my bisque kiln. Um, this is now at nine degrees so I can just touch it with my hands. In the summer I would unload it a bit hotter just to get the turnaround quicker. And then I'm unloading my glaze kiln. I then load up my bisque and normally I give everything a wipe, make sure there's no lumps of clay stuck on it that don't need to be there. So these are just some coasters I'm cleaning. And I load up my bisque kiln. I'm just doing one of the smaller kilns today as lots of stuff is taking forever to dry. I'm then weighing out the clay. So firstly, I'm making plates and candlestick holders. So here's the candlestick holders. I've just sped it up a little bit so it's not too dull to watch. Hopefully it's not dull at all. But this is just making the candlestick holder. So I actually use a candle to make sure that I get them the right size and just make the opening larger than the candle. Very scientific or mathematical. I always take Boo out for a walk and today was so nice. I just have to shut my eyes and imagine it's warm even though it's not. We've then got side plates. So I'm making these for a restaurant in Bristol and I'm making 35 today, which will take me just over half an hour to do. Side plates and dinner plates are pretty simple to do once you've mastered flattening the clay. And when I start, so this was the first one, I'm just then setting my throwing gauge to make sure that all the rest are made to the same width, which is that pointy stick poking out there. I then actually did a little play around with some glazing for another project I'm working on. And then I got back on the wheel and I made all these espresso cups, uh, pen pots and some wax burners. So this is that what the studio looks like at the end of the day. And I'll be back in tomorrow. Well, that is me done here for the day, but I'm going to go home now. I'm going to stop past a, what would you call it, like a DIY store. Okay, then I'm going to go home and make these videos, do some admin stuff. I've got loads of website stuff I need to be doing. So the day doesn't end here, but it is about three o'clock. So yeah, I'll be home soon.